Just move your mouse out of the screen. It's showing the cursor. Just move the cursor off the screen. No, it's disappeared. It's disappeared. It's funny. So this is okay. Now, now I'm getting side by side. Oh, so can you do? Can you do it on yours? So why am I getting video? Oh, geez. I thought you weren't going to do video. Let's see. Oh, my God.
right, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues and friends, stakeholders, I think we're ready to start. All right, great. Uh, welcome, everybody, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, guests, and stakeholders. Uh, you don't get that twice often in one ceremony. Um, it's my great pleasure, uh, on behalf of our Chancellor, Mr. John Dornbush, and our Vice Chancellor, Professor Geraldine McKenzie, to welcome you to the 2020 Staff Excellent Awards. My name is Josh Pinar, and I'm the Pro Vice Chancellor of Students here at the University of Southern Queensland and I'm going to be your master of ceremonies for this afternoon. Fortunately, I won't be doing all of the talking. Somebody else will be doing most of that. In the spirit of reconciliation, I would like to acknowledge the Jarawa and Gayarbal peoples as the keepers of the ancient knowledge where our Toowoomba campus has been built and whose cultures and customs continue to nurture this land. I also pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. Now, just a couple of rules around the housekeeping. This event is operating under COVID safe uh, plan and uh, please practice uh, physical distancing and safe hygiene by using the available um, hand sanitizer, which we are also used to by now. Uh, we also uh, encourage you to download the COVID safe app if you haven't done that already. It's a marvelous app that will uh, not consume all of your battery power throughout the day. Now, for those of you in the uh, auditorium tonight or this afternoon, please switch your mobile phones to silent. And for those of you that's on Zoom, and I know there's, there's quite a lot of you on Zoom, um, it doesn't really matter if your phone is on silent or not. Um, in, in the, if the fire alarm sounds, please evacuate the auditorium through any of the ex exits and uh, to the car park across the road. Uh, again, welcome to all of our colleagues that are joining us this afternoon on Zoom. I know that there's about 185 of you. Um, I can't see all of you. In fact, I can't see any of you, but I know that you're out there um, and we're really pleased to have you here with us today. I now invite our Vice Chancellor, Professor Geraldine McKenzie to the lectern to provide the official welcome. Thanks very much, Josh. And I'd also like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we meet here today in Toowoomba, the Jarrawar and Guyable people but also because we have people joining us on Zoom from many different places in Southeast Queensland, also to acknowledge the traditional owners of all the different places where you may be today. I'd particularly like to acknowledge the presence today of our Chancellor, John Dornbush, who will be presenting the awards to you. Unlike other years, I won't be able to be in the photograph because the lens isn't wide enough because of social distancing. So the Chancellor will be awarding the um, wonderful awards to you today. Uh, Deputy Vice-Chancellor Academic, Karen Nelson. Deputy Vice-Chancellor Enterprise Services, Michael Thomas. Deputy Vice-Chancellor Research and Innovation, John Bell. Chief Financial Officer, Athel Kerridge is also with us today. Pro Vice-Chancellor Engagement, John Cole. Pro Vice-Chancellor Students, Josh Pina. Executive Dean, Faculty of Business, Education, Law and Arts, Barbara Del Harp, and Executive Dean, Health, Engineering and Sciences, Glenn Coleman. I think we do have the entire Vice Chancellor's Executive here with us today. And I'd particularly like to acknowledge Catherine Michael from Uni Super. Thank you so much for joining us today and thank you for your support for this event again. Uh, we do have 187 people on Zoom today watching. So it might seem due to COVID that we don't have a lot of people here, but in fact we do. So welcome to everybody joining us here on Zoom. I'm sure too that uh, you'll be very pleased to know the winners that we are recording today. So you can send it to everybody you've ever met. So new format, as we've said, to suit COVID safe guidelines and just another example of how we've been doing things differently this year. But it is wonderful to be able to be here in person with our award winners today. And I do believe everybody is here with us today and also the rest of the university on Zoom. It has, I'm sure you'll agree with me, been an incredibly difficult year, but nonetheless, a year where we've had many achievements. And today we're going to be celebrating those. We're celebrating some wonderful initiatives. We're celebrating many different things with these awards as you're going to see, and all of which evidence our values of respect, integrity and excellence. Although most of the awards are going to individuals, I know that even if that is the case, that 
the individual award does recognise a lot of work behind the scenes and a lot of teamwork. And I think today it's really important that we recognise that as well. The commitment, energy and initiative that you have demonstrated in receiving these awards demonstrates, I think, what makes USQ such a wonderful place to work. So whilst I say congratulations to everybody who's about to accept your award, I think everybody would agree with me that in such a difficult year, really everybody is a winner. And when you receive your award, it will be, I think, accepted on behalf of your teams, but the many people who've achieved so much this year and we're not able to personally recognize. So please accept in the absence of me being with you as well to receive your award, please accept my personal congratulations and thanks for everything that you've done. Uh, it's an incredible achievement, please enjoy today. And congratulations again, and I look forward to chatting with you afterwards. So thank you. Thank you, Vice Chancellor. I now invite our Chancellor to stand in front of the banner to, uh, uh, for the awards of the presentation. And uh, the black spot marks the spot for us. Uh, our first excellence award is for community engagement and service which recognizes and encourages outstanding service to the community by employees and fosters best practice in university community engagement. I invite our Pro Vice Chancellor Engagement, Professor John Cole, OAM, to the lectern to announce the winner. Thank you, Josh, and good afternoon, everyone. The 2020 recipient of USQ's Excellence Award for Community Engagement and Service is Melissa Fanshaw. <laughs> Melissa's Partners in Literacy and Numeracy program connects pre-service teachers to local schools by partnering them with a mentor teacher for approximately one to two hours each week. The program has placed over 300 students in local schools in Toowoomba, Ipswich, Springfield, Stanthorpe, and more than 200 other schools throughout Australia. It provides pre-service teachers with additional opportunities to be engaged in schools, benefiting both the schools and the students, enhancing student employability and providing graduates who are classroom ready. From 2016 to 2019, 100% of the participants gained employment upon completion of their studies, as to, opposed to 84.1% of overall USQ education students. Melissa recognised a specific community identified need which extended the university's core values through service and engagement and built capacity in USQ's footprint regions across Queensland and Australia. Melissa, please come forward and accept your award. Thank you, John. Our next awards are for the Learning and Teaching Awards, which recognize and reward employees who have created exceptional learning opportunities for students and provided learning and teaching leadership for the university colleagues. I invite our Deputy Vice-Chancellor Academic, Professor Karen Nelson, to the lectern to announce the winners. Karen? Thank you, Josh. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm very pleased to be presenting three awards this afternoon. Firstly, the 2020 recipient of USQ's Excellence Award for Advancing Student Success is the Student Online Engagement Team, comprising of a large group of academics from across schools and faculties, Associate Professor Susan Maloney, Dr. Megan Axelson, Dr. Marita Basson, Dr. Alice Brown, Associate Professor Linda Galligan, Professor Jill Lawrence, Associate Professor Patria Redmond, and Dr. Joanna Turner. A key feature of this team is the synergy created via an interfaculty collaboration between eight academics who were responsible for the design and delivery of 11 courses to 1,653 students. Through employing nudging strategies, 
video vignettes and course learning analytics, this diverse team receives this excellence award for improving student online engagement through the use of simple accessible strategies which can be employed in cost-effective and sustainable ways. Susan, Megan, Marita, Alice, Linda, Jill, Patria and Joanna, please come forward and accept your award. <laughs> uh, they're all women, just saying. Thank you, everyone. The 2020 recipients of USQ's Excellence Award for Teaching in the Faculty of Business, Education, Law and Arts are Dr. Chris Cosin and Mr. Andrew Mason. Teaching into the area of public relations, their Excellence Award is for developing and implementing innovative online curriculum design using micro learning design principles to improve the student learning experience. As a result of Dr. Cousins and Mr. Mason's efforts, measurable increases in student motivation and engagement have been demonstrated. It, is also, it has also resulted in the establishment of a collaborative foundation for increased scholarship related to further developing micro learning approaches. Chris and Andrew, please come forward and accept your award. Fabulous. The 2020 recipient of USQ's Excellence Award for Teaching in the Faculty of Health, Engineering and Sciences is Dr. Linda Lisa Beccaria. Sorry, Lisa. <laughs> Through the development of an online virtual simulation room, Dr. Beccaria has addressed a problem faced by first year nursing students, and that is of being clinical simulation lab ready. This innovative, innovative intervention has enabled first year students to visualize the simulation environment, learn more authentically about the simulated patients and engage with a range of material to enhance the first year clinical nursing experience. Lisa, please come forward and accept your award.
Thank you, Karen. That was marvelous. Our next awards are for People, Culture and Values Awards, which recognize the contributions of individuals who have sponsored or developed initiatives uh, supportive of the university culture that values diversity, service excellence and innovation. I invite our Deputy Vice Chancellor, Enterprise Services, Michael Thomas, to announce the winners. Michael. Thanks, Josh, and it's great to be here this afternoon, colleagues, to celebrate with you. This year, we've had such a high caliber of nominations. The university will be presenting highly commended awards as well for both the Excellence Award for Diversity and Inclusion and the Excellence Award for Values-Based Leadership. So firstly, the highly commended recipient and runner-up for the Excellence Award for Diversity and Inclusion is Dr. Annette Bromdahl. Mm -hmm. Dr. Bromdahl's research interests fall within the areas of gender and sexuality in elite sports, medicine, contemporary sexuality education, the corrective services system, and around aging, specifically associated with critical intersex studies and critical trans discourses. Dr. Bromdahl's ability to support inclusive leadership, uh, connectivity and infrastructure at both a national and international level, and her passionate contribution to diversity, fairness and inclusion has been recognized through this highly commended award. Dr. Bromdahl, Bromdahl, can you please come forward to accept your award? Now on to the award winner. The 2020 recipient of USQ's Excellence Award for Diversity and Inclusion is Associate Professor Charlotte Brownlow. Associate Professor Brownlow's contribution to diversity and, inclusi and, and inclusion at U USQ centers around her leadership in teaching, research and service. Associate Professor Brownlow focuses on the understandings of human difference, particularly with respect to autism spectrum disorders. She has been co-author, co-researcher and co-creator of a number of activities, including leading USQ's successful bid to be recognized as an autism CRC co-production partner, a recognition that only four other Australian universities were successful in attaining. Associate Professor Brownlow, please come forward to accept your award. Moving on now to the Excellence Award for Values-Based Leadership, and again, a highly commended recipient and an award winner. The highly commended recipient of the 2020 Excellence Award for Values-Based Leadership is Ms. Caitlin Isaac. Ms. Isaac's passion for safety, coupled with her responsiveness and client-centered focus has been pivotal in the successful adaption of work practices across the university to deal with COVID-19. Throughout this challenging time, Caitlin's willingness to step up and take on additional duties and responsibilities to help ensure the universities or the safety of the university's staff and students was done professionally and with great composure during a very challenging time. Ms. Isaac's leadership embodies USQ values and her commitment to delivering service excellence is respected by her colleagues and clients. Ms. Isaac, please come forward to accept your award.
On to the award winner, the 2020 recipient of USQ's Excellence Award for Values-Based Leadership is Mr. Brian Stevens. Well done, Brian. Mr. Stevens is an energetic leader with a can-do approach. And I acknowledge, Brian, that I normally see you darting around iConnect with a polo shirt on, but you've stood me up today and shown me up with a tie. Well done, mate. <clears throat> Mr. Stevens leads by treating all people with courtesy and kindness and approaches his work with a genuine curiosity and appreciation of the differences and values that members of his team bring to the discussion. Mr. Stevens' commitment to our students is exemplified by the sustained delivery of exceptional outcomes and higher standards of quality delivered through the iConnect service. Mr. Stevens' leadership in drawing together the iConnect service, a new innovation at USQ to support our students, uh, bringing that service to life uh, on campus early in the new year, to then be heavily involved in virtualizing it as we all started learning and working from home uh, is recognized in the presentation of this award. Mr. Stevens, please come forward to accept your award. That's it for the awards. Just got an acknowledgement to make colleagues. Uh, the Excellence Award for Innovation and Change is our third award. And this year we've seen an incredible amount of innovation and change going on across the university. Uh, we've in, been involved in transforming many of our activities across very short periods of time as we've focused strongly on supporting one another and our students to transition to learning and working from home. Due to there being so many examples of excellence in this space, we've made the controversial decision not to award a specific individual award this year. It's not a reflection of any of the individual uh, acknowledgements and um, nominations that were received, but rather a desire, as was flagged by the Vice Chancellor earlier, to ensure that everyone is equally recognized by and for their contributions. I would, however, like to take this opportunity to acknowledge a couple of examples of exceptional collaboration and teamwork from across the university across the last nine months. Firstly, I would like to recognize on behalf of VCE, the tremendous effort across multiple teams and colleagues across the university to rapidly transform uh, our end of semester examinations for semester one to alternative methods of assessment, including online exams, take home exams and assignments. This activity represented an enormous effort from across our academic and professional ranks of the university as we sought to support student success at a time of critical stress for many uh, of our students. So please join me in uh, congratulating and acknowledging our colleagues involved in that. <laughs> Secondly, I'd like to acknowledge all staff involved in the COVID-19 student support package. In the midst of the pandemic, these staff led by my colleague, Professor Josh Pienaar, worked incredibly hard to conceptualize and deliver a financial support package to our students, many of whom were experiencing financial hardship and disadvantage uh, associated with rapidly transitioning um, to learning from home and not having those traditional supports that they would have available to them, but also losing part-time jobs within our community and facing real pressure around putting bread on the table and continuing with their studies. So as a result of this $5.2 million package funded by USQ and with the great support of the University Council, students were able to apply for these packages of support to assist with living expenses, technology and learning resources support. And to have arrived at the end of the year in a much more fortunate place than many of our colleagues in other states and certainly across the world, it's good to know that colleagues from across the university have worked hard to make the year as painless as possible uh, for our students and of course for one another. So please put your hands together to acknowledge all of our colleagues involved in the student support package. Thanks Josh. Thank you, Michael, and uh, yeah, some amazing achievements by all of our colleagues. Um, just back on to Brian, I also didn't recognize him this morning with that tie on. Um, Brian, I didn't know that you owned ties, but well done. 
Um, our, our next awards are the research awards, which recognize demonstrated research excellence and service to the university, postgraduate research supervision, uh, and to encourage early career researchers. I would like to invite our Deputy Vice Chancellor, Research and Innovation, Professor John Bell, to announce the winners. John. Thank you, Josh. Um, <clears throat> as with the previous category of awards, uh, we also have some highly commended awards um, in a number of these categories. Um, and I'm going to disrupt proceedings, not in quite the same way Michael did. I'm actually going to ask that when I announce your name, you come down so that I can actually talk about you while you are here. So please try and remember that. Um, so this year, um, the highly commended recipient for the Excellence Award for Research is Professor Jeffrey Gow. So, which we can break the sequence. Uh, Professor Gow leads the university's research endeavors in health economics and policy related research, um, aligned with the University Center for Health Research. Professor Gao has published 127 journal articles um, and secured eight research grants valued at $1.7 million. Uh, with various national and, interna and international collaborations, Professor Gao enhances the university's era performance in the public health space. Jeffrey, congratulations. The 2020 recipient of USQ's um, Excellence Award for Research is Professor Zhigang Chen. <laughs> Professor Chen has made an exceptional contribution to the university's research, specifically in areas of sustainable energy, thermoelectrics, um, and advanced microscopy. Yes, some interesting areas of research, or at least I think so. Um, having won three Australian Research Council Discovery Grants as Chief Investigator and secured over 10 industry investments, Professor Chen continues to represent USQ on a national and international scale, with over 14,000 publication citations and having contributed to more than 250 peer-reviewed publications, Professor Chen has secured the university over a million dollars in research funding. At least that was at the time the committee met. Um, since we met to consider this award. Uh, Zhigang has been announced as a highly cited researcher, one of only two at USQ, uh, which means a number of publications in the top 1% of citations um, in his field in the previous year. And he was awarded a Discovery 2021 um, award as well, um, just two weeks ago. So congratulations, Zhigang. Now we're moving on to early career researchers. The highly commended recipient um, for excellence, uh, for the Excellence Award for Early Career Research is Dr. Tuan Din. So Tuan, please come down. <clears throat> um, Dr. Din is one of Australia's 2020 top 40 young researchers as published in the Australian Research Report in September. Um, Dr. Din leads research in micro and nano electromechanical systems within the Center for Future Materials. Um, and has many collaborations with organizations, including the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Stanford University, and Simon Fraser University in Canada. Um, with a national and international um, recognition, Dr. Din continues to strengthen his research expertise while contributing to the university's teaching and research excellence. I think this is becoming a trend, and I wish this was something that I could predict. Then I'd do these awards every week. Um, since we considered these awards. Tuan has also been um, awarded a DECRA fellowship commencing next year. So congratulations, Tuan. Um, the 2020 recipient of USQ's Excellence Award for Early Career Research is Dr. Dr. Ali Mitsagobanali. I hope I got it right. Ali conducts original and cutting edge research in geotechnical engineering and strata control within, again, within the Center for Future Materials. Um, Ali was the first successful award recipient within the Center for Future Materials of an Australian Coal Association research program uh, project valued at nearly $400,000. 
Um, Ali continues his work and collaborations with industry partners while leading higher degree research students. So congratulations, Ali. The next award is the Ron Ronell Erwe Award, uh, Memorial Award for Excellence in Postgraduate Research Supervision. And the 2020 recipient of the Ronell Erwe Memorial Award um, for Excellence in Research Supervision is Associate Professor Ravanish Dia. Please come down. Associate Professor Dio has supervised 45 postgraduate students. He looks very young for that. Um, ranging from PhD candidates, research masters and coursework master students while working at USQ. Um, as an exceptional leader, Associate Professor Dio senior students received distinguished awards, including um, excellence in doctoral research awarded by the Dean of the Graduate Research School. Um, while managing an intensive supervision workload, it sounds intensive, Associate Professor Dio continues to deliver publications and secure funding for the university, uh, particularly leading to student scholarships to support those same students. Um, through a group learning culture by, and by fostering diversity and establishing industry internships, Associate Professor Dio delivers the ultimate postgraduate student experience. Congratulations. Um, the highly commended recipients of the Excellence Award for Service to Research are Samantha Davis and Will Farmer. And I think only Will is here. Yes, that appears to be the case. So. The ethics team members, um, Ms Davis and Mr Farmer, ensure highly high quality service is delivered in all interactions with staff, academics and researchers. Um, both Ms. Davis and Mr. Farmer ensure their knowledge bases and experiences are utilised when assisting uh, with their uh, very time consuming um, and detailed university matters. So congratulations, Will, and please pass it on to Samantha as well. Thank you. Um, the 2020 recipient of the Excellence Award for Service to Research is Lauren Huth. Um, come down. Mrs. Huth's commitment to ensuring the university's world-class facilities are available to researchers is one of the many ways she demonstrates her ongoing commitment to service excellence in research. And this is particularly relevant to what Michael was talking about as well. Uh, with the challenges faced in 2020, um, particularly the COVID-19 pandemic, Lauren strived to ensure internal and external mechanisms were in place for critical research activities to continue right throughout that challenging time. Um, not only were these practices successful, but they were also enacted across the broader university. Um, through professionalism and relationship management, Mrs. Huth is the epitome of delivering service excellence in aid of research. Congratulations, Lauren. That concludes the research report. Thanks, John, and that was a uh, welcome disruption to the normal uh, process. So uh, we might write that down for next time, who knows. Our next awards are the Value Champion Awards at the University of Southern Queensland. We are united by our three core values, respect, integrity, and excellence. Uh, USQ's Value Champions are employees who have exemplified living our core values through their performance, attitude, behavior, and actions by bringing our values to life. To support this important element of USQ's employment recognition and rewards program, UniSuper sponsors these awards. And today we are joined by Catherine Michael, Employer Partnership Manager, Queensland, who will join us to uh, present these awards. I now invite our Executive Director, Human Resources, Anjal Lawrence, to announce the winners and introduce Catherine. Thank you, Professor Pinnell, and thank you for being here today and contributing in the way that you all do. It's an honour to be here. Uh, may I welcome Catherine Michael from UniSuper to say a few words. Thank you, Angel. 
Uh, I'd just like to thank uh, USQ Vice Chancellor, Ch uh, Chancellor and the executive team for supporting UniSuper being here today. Without doubt, this year 2020 has been unprecedented with so many challenges within the higher education sector and also my own sector superannuation. And I think it's wonderful that we can be here today to celebrate. And I think it's these moments of celebration that are even more important in these times. So we're delighted to be part of the Excellence Awards today and to, val um, to sponsor the USQ Values Champions Awards. Thanks, Monta. Thanks, Catherine. Our first Values Champion for 2020 is Dr. Marita Basson. In her role as Associate Head Learning, Teaching and Student Services, Dr. Basson has provided strategic leadership in the learning and teaching portfolio. Dr. Basson is described as a leader who works collaboratively to deliver learning and teaching workshops bringing together the various sections of the university. Dr. Basson has done this with enthusiasm and empathy, while at all times showing appreciation for the contributions of all staff involved. This work demonstrates the USQ values of excellence and respect. Dr. Basson, please come forward to accept your award. Thank you. Our next Values Champion Award recipient for 2020 is Kirsten McGregor. Kirsten led the media and communications team before moving to her current role as the Executive Director, Marketing, Media and Communications. Kirsten is described as an open and and honest leader with her staff and has built a supportive team culture which values communication, excellence and collaboration. Kirsten lives the USQ values, encouraging originality and creativity in her team members. Kirsten, would you please come forward to accept your award? Thank you. <clears throat> Our next 2020 Values Champion Award recipient is Belinda Remus. Belinda is described as a respectful leader who embraces diversity in the workplace. Belinda passionately pursues excellence and maintains integrity. Belinda continuously strives to develop her team. Belinda lives the values through her commitment to respect, integrity and excellence. Belinda, please come forward and accept your award. Thank you, Belinda. Our final 2020 Values Champion is Brian Stevens. Brian is described as the driving force behind iConnect, which provides high quality, responsive frontline support for students. Brian redesigned the iConnect operating model to respond to the impact of COVID-19 just two months after implementation of iConnect. This ensured students received an online response, which provided and continues to provide connected and individual support. Brian lives the USQ values, treating everyone with courtesy, politeness and kindness. Brian, please come forward and accept your award.
Thank you. Thank you, Anjal and Catherine. Please join me now in a round of applause for all of our recipients. Now, colleagues, uh, that now concludes the official proceedings. And I would like to encourage those of you in the auditorium to enjoy uh, some refreshments served in the foyer. And once again, congratulations on your wonderful achievement. For those colleagues on Zoom, please enjoy uh, your self-provided refreshments in your offices or elsewhere. It was marvelous to have everybody online and it was really a great event. And thank you and good afternoon. And All right, so we're just taking a photo. Everybody's sitting down. And there we go. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>